Sure. Well, I think the key is in the word preparation. Uh, the more you can prepare your business um, and get everything in apple pie order before you uh, start to market it, then the better your prospects of maximizing uh, the, the, the profits that you're likely to get from a sale. So I think the first point you would probably want to consider is, am I selling shares in my business or am I selling the assets in my business? The majority of vast majority of businesses would be run through private limited companies and you don't have a choice whether to sell the shares in that company or um, retain the company and just sell the assets. Now quite often what, you're, what you choose will be driven by tax considerations and a lot of trading businesses may prefer to sell the shares because they can then uh, qualify for something called entrepreneur's relief which would reduce the capital gains tax um, bill down to 10%, which is obviously a very favourable rate. Um, the difficulty with share sales is they can be more complicated because the buyer is then taking over the whole company lock, stock and barrel, including not only assets but potential liabilities that might be lurking in there. And so you are going to be required to give what they call warranties and indemnities. Um, Whereas if you simply sell the assets, that can be a simpler transaction and both you and your buyer could, if you like, cherry pick which assets you're going to sell. So again, at an early stage, take advice from your tax advisors and other professional advisors as to how uh, it would be best to try and structure the deal. Um, obviously, the, the, the price that you are going to uh, obtain is very important indeed and you will want to obtain a evaluation typically from uh, your accountant um, of your business but consider whether you might do better by taking 100% cash on completion which I suppose is what most people would prefer or whether you might be able to extract a, a better deal by perhaps taking a proportion on completion, balance to be paid by instalments, possibly with interest over a period of time. Consider also offering yourself as an ongoing consultant or director or employee to ensure handover of the business to the buyer. Again, they may be prepared to, to pay you, to remunerate you for your time over a period of time, perhaps one or two years. That will also give some reassurance to the to the buyer. So um, consider also which assets um, you're actually selling within the business. Now it's possible that there may be some valuable assets in there, for example, real estate, a freehold or, or, or a leasehold, which is not the value of which may not be fully reflected in the price. Uh, the overall price that someone is going to pay for the business because they're looking at other considerations too such as goodwill and turnover so if necessary consider taking certain assets out of the business before you put it up for sale so doing a sort of restructure retain the benefit of those assets maybe and that might also you know, help you to retain more value um, than you would otherwise have um, obtained um, Get your tackle in order, so think what legal documents is your lawyer going to need uh, in order to deal with the sale of the business. Typically, uh, the lawyer will need to see key contracts, um, key contracts with business people, key uh, employment contracts, um, higher purchase agreements, leases, property contracts, intellectual property contracts, and all of that. If you get everything Together, that will ultimately save you time and costs uh, with your with your lawyer. So, um, another thing that would be popular with buyers is uh, restrictive covenants, because um, if you are selling the goodwill of your business, anyone paying money for that will be concerned that you don't set up a competing business or that you don't um, take away key staff or, or key customers. So 
be willing, uh, be flexible and be willing to offer uh, reassurance to the buyer by way of restrictive covenants um, because that, that will also help smooth the path. So again, the, the key to all of this really is preparation. Consult your professional advisors at an early stage so you can take proper advice as to how to market your business for sale.